Previously on... We hit some waterfalls, went a little off-roading, got a little muddy, and had a great night at camp. Here is part two of our Canada Day Long Weekend Adventure. Pretty much any morning while camping, Barrett is the first one awake. And that's all right, because it's a little bit of me and him time and gives me time to start my morning nice and relaxed. If all the mud in the last episode was proof of anything, it's that this weekend would have its fair share of rain. Not exactly a problem for this water dog. I like thinking that weather is just part of the experience, and if we weren't in that mindset, we wouldn't be enjoying Barrett's entertainment right now. Come here, Bear. Come here, Bear. <laughs> do it, do it again. So when you're camping and it's raining, be resourceful, all right? Why use your drinking water when you can just use nature? There you go. <laughs> Combined breakfast with a beautiful view and the rain starting to let up and it was looking like it was going to be a start to a great day. With everyone ready to go, it was time to hit the trail or go mudding. I guess we'll have to see how the trail looks right now. Looks like nobody's coming out clean today. As we started to climb an elevation, we started to come across less mud, as all the water does flow downhill, right? Also, and I don't know why, but every time I come across a bridge on a trail, it seems to be a little too tight on both sides, but maybe it's just me. 
A few hours later of driving deeper into the mountains, we decided to take a break up on this ridge. And what of you, even the sun is trying to come out. There we go. Gotta keep that solar panel going. Didn't know how much mud we were really getting. Of course, all the adventure dogs have to stretch their legs as well. Wasn't long before the snacks made their way out too. Think he developed a taste for beef jerky yet? With bellies full, it was time to keep heading deeper into the mountains. We still needed to locate a good camping spot for the night. Sometime later, we found some decently flat ground and a river running down beside it that seemed like a great spot to camp. And if anybody knows how to celebrate a new camping spot, it's the dogs. This is why. That's why we're friends. This is why you're friends. This is why we're friends, right, Barrett? Now, with some energy burnt off and a camping spot picked out for the night, it was time to go run another trail, deeper into the mountains with a few extra things to find. First up, an emergency shelter, a maintained building for anyone that gets themselves lost out in the woods, stuck in a snowstorm with a wood stove to keep themselves warm until they can get rescued or find their way out in the morning. Hey. 
Well, we got one right there, just no toilet paper. <laughs> Where? This is really cool, man. Yeah. Once we were done exploring, we knew the rest of the trail was gonna get pretty tight and narrow from here, but it would give us a great view of the mountains once we got up there. Rocks, trees, and a half ton is a great way to have a few bumps and scratches. But not to worry, everything's okay. If I was really worried about those things, I shouldn't be out here. The mud puddles seem to be getting deeper as we get closer up into the mountain. There really is no better way I feel like I can spend my time than being deep out in the wild of Western Canada, especially on Canada Day weekend. Starting to climb an elevation, we could really feel we're getting close. The rocky trail seems to be interrupting Barrett's nap though. Sorry buddy. We are pretty far out there, and with the mountains in view, we can even make out a little bit of snow. Remember, it's July.
The view is amazing from down here. And just two mud holes to go and we'll be at the base of one of the mountains. The view might be amazing from down here, but it's breathtaking from up there. The snow has seemed to re-energize the dogs as well. Come here. Nothing says Canadian. More like having a snow day in July out <laughs> in the Canadian Rockies. <laughs> Ready? A beautiful view and another trail complete. It was time to start making our way back down the mountain and towards camp. Back along the river, it was time to set up for the night and make some dinner. Of course, with this great crew, the shenanigans never really end. Oh no. Oh, you Instead got your of dropping pudding. into the river, go into the tree. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a high tree. Let me shake this. 
Unfortunately, a drone did end up at the top of a very tall tree, but there'll be a rescue mission in a different video that I'll put the link in the description for. All in all, it made for a funny story at the end of a great day. It's the final morning of our long weekend trip. And of course, me and Barrett are the first ones up again. Fun fact about the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, if you didn't know, is their natural instinct to look underwater for ducks. That's why Barrett keeps ducking his head under the water. Just a good dog waiting for his favorite food provider. I mean camping buddy. Another rainy morning and we all started to tear down and head back up to the trail to make our way out of the mountains today. Full of accomplishment, but also mixed feelings that this long weekend was actually coming to an end. The Rocky Mountains would still have one last amazing view for us. Friendships new and old, amazing views, and a sense of adventure is a reason why I'll never forget weekends like these. It's why overlanding has a special place in my heart. And, like always, until next time, we'll catch you out in the wild.